In the part I have open here, I have a section view of a cylinder that's been shelled out that also has a cut revolve at the bottom. Now we can take a look at the geometry of the cut revolve. It's a relatively simple geometry to create using this feature. But in order for this uniform thickness to exist, we can only use this feature with a cylinder. To create the same feature using an elliptical extrusion, for example, we can no longer use the revolve because it's going to have a varying thickness on this bottom section here. To be able to create that geometry, we have to use a lofted cut. So the first thing we'll do is create a new document. So the first thing we'll do here is drop an ellipse on the top plane, coincident to the origin. Then we can go ahead and give this dimensions. This will have a height of one and a half inches and a width of 2.4 inches. And then we want to control select the origin and that point there and make those two horizontal. From there we can extrude this. And it doesn't really matter what height we go up to here. We can make this, let's say, 3 inches, and that should be fine. Then we want to create the profiles for our lofted cut. So we'll create a sketch on the bottom face here. and use the offset entities to create a smaller ellipse on the inside. So we'll set this to a quarter of an inch and just click on the inside face and that'll add in the ellipse. So that's our first profile and for our second profile we want to create a sketch on the front plane and all we're going to need for that profile is a point. We'll go ahead and space this off by 0.3 inches. And we want to make this point and the origin vertical. Next, we'll go into the Features tab and choose the Lofted Cut option. And we'll choose the ellipse and the point. And we can exit the cut loft and see the resulting profile. So we can see that this creates a cone and that terminates at that point. So we'll need some guide curves to create the curve that we want. So I'll go ahead and delete out the cut loft. And to make this a little easier to see, we'll hide out the body. Then we'll go ahead and create a sketch on the front plane. And we'll use the three-point arc tool to draw a arc from the point to the ellipse. Then we want to draw in a center line horizontal at that point. And then we just want to make the arc and this center line tangent. And lastly, we'll click on that point on the arc and the ellipse and make the two pierce. Now we're going to want to create the same arc on the other side because we want this to be uniform. But if we mirror this profile over, what happens is that the lofted feature is going to see the entire arc rather than just the arc half. So it won't create the profile that we want to create. So we'll go ahead and exit out and create another sketch on the front plane. And we'll go ahead and click on the arc and choose the convert entities. And then we'll draw a center line down to the origin. Now we want to use the mirror entities and mirror about the center line. And we want to uncheck the copy option so that we only have the arc on the other side there. Now we just want to do the same on the right plane. 
to get the other side of the profile. So I'll go ahead and create a sketch once again on the right plane there. And we'll draw in a three-point arc and once again add in that center line and we'll make the two tangent once again. And lastly, pierce the two. And exit the sketch. And we'll just create one more sketch on the right plane. Once again, we'll mirror over the converted arc. So first convert the arc over using the convert entities. And we'll draw down another center line to the origin. And then we'll go ahead and mirror the entities over. And you may have noticed with the last time we copied over the arc, uh, it, it lost all of its definition. It was underdefined. If we wanted to keep that, we can go ahead and copy this. That creates this one single arc going all the way across. And then we can split the arc using the split entities. And then we can select the arc to the right there and turn it into a construction geometry. And then we can exit the sketch. Then we'll go ahead and show the extrusion again and go into the lofted cut feature. Once again, choose the two profiles and then we'll start selecting guide curves here. Once we have all four selected, just examine the profile, see if it looks all right. That looks like the right shape, so we'll go ahead and exit the feature. And I'll go ahead and create a section view using the front plane. And now we can see we have roughly the same geometry as we saw in that cylinder created using the lofted cut 